Hello everybody, welcome to Sports Federation TV. My name is JP Nordier, I'm your host this evening, standing in for Lenyukta Chetty. She'll be back next week. This is of course uh, Sports Federation TV, where we look after the federations in the Western Cape. Western Cape, of course, made up of six districts, in case you haven't um, been aware of that in the past. It's of course the Cape Town District, the West Coast, the Overberg, e the Central Karoo, the Eden, and of course Cape Winelands. Those are your six districts. Um, and of course the show is dedicated to amateur sport and the federations that are affiliated to the Sascock structures. And right here we give the opportunity to federations who perhaps haven't got the ability to create their own television shows or get media out there and, and hence the fact that we've got Federation TV looking after amateur sport in the Western Cape. We've got an interesting lineup tonight. We'll be talking to the folks from the world of boxing. Lifesaving joins us a little bit later and we'll be speaking to Karate. We haven't had Karate on the show for a while and the guys from Kyokushin Karate recently went to go and compete in the South African Championships in Polokwane will be joining us to tell us about their exploits. Folks, joining me now is, of course, a legend. We grew up watching this man boxing. Um, I don't know on which different channels. Cassius Beloy, six-time world champion. Cassius, welcome to Federation TV. Oh, thank you. Long time overdue that we get you in, down from Johannesburg, down in Cape Town now. And we want to find out from you what, how the boxing is going. We believe that you're opening a clinic down here in Cape Town. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do, be doing some clinics like in September. Okay. And now I'm just here for the exhibition fight uh, on Thursday, on Friday. It's Friday or Thursday? Friday. On Friday. <laughs> and of course, with you is Lillian Karianis. Lillian, you're from, from the Armory Boxing Club here in Cape Town. Yes, that's uh, correct. The Armory's made quite a name for itself, a white collar boxing. Obviously, you guys are very busy. Um, tell us a little bit about the link between the Armory and Cassius. How did that come about? I think well, the, the, the link would be obviously me coming into the Armory, um, which was in. Uh, April this year, yeah. and um, having moved into Cape Town, um, heard about the armory, got into the armory, started working there, and of course immediately couldn't stop talking about Cassius and our our past relationship. Did you guys know each other already from from Joburg? Is that yes, that's the that thing. Yeah. Uh, Cassius and I were running the gym together. All right. Cassius is still running the gym there. Uh, we set it up in 2010, uh, starting with training amateurs and then just people for recreation. Yeah. And before that, I was Cassius's co conditioning coach oh. back when he was fighting. And um, yeah, that's basically, I met him in 2007. Cassius, let's talk a little bit about you. Um, I mean, I grew up with, with your name. Um, fiddled around a little bit of a, a boxing myself as a, as, a, as a child. Didn't get anywhere. You, six-time world champion. You started at the age of six, like many kids. that put on a, car a set of boxing gloves and maybe we all don't continue. But... How did it go from you? You started with, I believe, with your father. Yeah, I started with my father like 80, back in 84, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we used to go watch boxing fights at our neighbors. Like, when like guys like uh, Al Mohamed fight, we used to go to to the neighbors and watch. But the. Uh, he, he was a Ali Mahomet fan. Yes, yeah. That's where I got this name, Cassius. Oh, is that where the name comes yeah, from? Yeah, it comes from Al Cassius Lee. Yes. You know, remember in 1974, yeah. that was the year I was born. Right. My mother was pregnant, mm -hmm. and there was there was this fight between Al Mahomet and, and George, George Foreman. George Foreman yeah, that the fight. Rumble in the Jungle. Yeah, rumble in the, the Jungle. Rumble in the Jungle. Yes, that fight. And my father was an Al Mohamed fan. Yeah. And l most of his friends were George Foreman's fan. Yeah, yeah. George Foreman, I think, <laughs> he be, he, be, George Foreman, he beat Joe Fraser three times. Yes, yeah, yeah. Al Mohamed struggled ag ag against Fraser. Yeah. Fraser. Yeah. His f my father's friends, they were saying, like, They're gonna beat, he's going to he, beat he's Ali. Gonna, yeah, my father said, No, he's not going to beat him. If he. After in, he, he, I know he's gonna win the fight, and my my wife is pregnant. If my wife get a boy, I'm gonna name him Cassius. Cassius. <laughs> yeah, I see. But she didn't give you he didn't give you the full name, eh? Cassius Belo, uh, Cassius Clay. Okay, no, no, no not not just name. just Cassius. That was yeah. an incredible fight. I mean, everybody knows it from yes. from that, that documentary um, when we were kings. 
and uh, of course everybody in the Congo was shouting um, Afrique, uh, Bombay, hey, yeah, Afrique. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. So you, you went on to fight, I think, what, um, 37, 37 wins, 8 losses and a draw? I mean, that's a, a long career. Yeah, um, sir, you sir. must be very happy with your boxing career. Yeah, I'm very happy with my boxing career. But, the, 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 like a lot of the guys, people, they don't know my amateur career. Yes. You know, if I can like go back, I want to go to, to go out to Olympics. Because when I started boxing, I wanted to be to win gold in the Olympics. Yes, yeah. And then when I was boxing training, when I was little, I was training to be an Olympian. And then I won everything in South Africa. I won SA champ, I don't know how many times. And then I qualified for the world championships. I won the world championships in 91 or 92. And I qualified for Barcelona Olympics. Yes. But I didn't fight. But I went with the team to Barcelona. Yeah. So now I've retired. I'm training young boys now. But I uh, believe you haven't, got, you haven't got completely retired because you're now coming back into the ring. You've got an exhibition fight coming up. Yeah. Lydia, maybe you tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, it's it's happening at the Armory. We've yeah. got a, an event on, on Friday night. Yeah. Okay, It's a white collar boxing event and it's for our people who've been through a 12 week course. And on the top of the card, we're going to have Cassius fighting a long term standing coach, uh, Aladdin Calvera, who's been there for 10 years. Um, he's never, he says he's had four fights from before, but he hasn't really been active. <laughs> Just a bit of sparring with his clients. Yeah. Um, which he loves to do. Yeah. And yeah, when yeah. we mentioned that we were going to bring Cassius down, we're planning the, the boxing clinic, then we'd like to bring him down first to, you know, everyone to meet him and see what yeah. he's about. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, yeah. we said, well, we should have an exhibition fight. Yeah. And then we thought, well, who the best person would be for Aladdin, you know? And it really, he's very excited. Cassius is excited to be back in the ring. It's been how many years? When, just tell us again, when is the, when is the fight? It's the, this Friday. This is Friday, Friday night. Yeah. All right, so... So of course, people who are watching this now are going to possibly. Yeah. Uh, all right. So so listen. Let's, before we, we've, in fact, I believe we've got a clip here of of, um, of you guys training of in the, the gym. gym then, yeah. This is at the armory. Let, let's have a look at this clip, and uh, and we can come back and explain to us a little bit more about what white collar boxing is about. And then I believe, of course, Cash has got the clinics that are going to be rolling out here, and and that's going to be fantastic for the athletes in Cape Town. But let's take a look at the clip, folks. Welcome back, everybody. Of course, um, Cassius Beloy, a world, former world champion, will be taking on Aladdin at the Armory. Of course, is on the, right now. We'll, maybe we'll get some photographs and videos from you guys after the event, and, and, and we can put it on the on the on the, on the show. Um, Cassius, you've had more than two hundred fights. Aladdin's had four fights. How can this be fair? That was a long time ago. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe explain to us before, because I'd like to speak to you about the clinics and what your plans are there. But just quickly explain to us white collar boxing. 
Um, a lot of people still don't understand the difference between normal boxing, white collar boxing. In fact, there's a big difference also in South Africa between amateur boxing and professional boxing. But white collar boxing is more for the man in the street who's not a, a amateur or a professional. Yeah, no, white collar boxing is is more for the person who has a day job. <laughs> you right. know, they have they have careers, they have families, they have children, yeah. or you know, they're busy, but they need an outlet. Yeah, and yeah. it's perfect for the professional types. The financial types so you've had a tough day at work and you want to come that's smash it. the bag that's it and it's a yeah. it's a perfect for them yeah. and i think that's that's really the drawing card for them yeah yeah mm. cassius tell us a little bit about the clinics they're going to be ro rolling out soon of course together with lillian uh, from a conditioning perspective um what, what are your plans yeah i'm looking forward for this in for september and i'm i'm just here to teach the guys what boxing is all about right. you see yeah uh, so you, will you be will you be teaching some of the corporate guys and some of the amateur boxers a mix of a mix of people? Yeah, a mix of people. Anyone who wants to come, he can. He or she, he or she can come. To and the, what about age groups? Uh, uh, kids, old people, young people. All you know, like today before I come here, yeah, I was sparring with Steve, the owner yes. of Amari. He's fifty. Six. Fifty something years old. Right. But uh, so it's for everyone. Okay. Everyone, right. everyone can come. All right. Um, Boys, girls. Yeah. What, tell us a little about the clinics themselves. Uh, where, where, where will people be able to find out about it? Is there a cost associated? Well, I'm not too sure of the cost, but they can email the armory at, okay. at info at armoryboxing.com. Yeah. Um, it's for September. It will space will be limited. We're looking at getting a group of about no more than twenty, probably two day, two day, twenty at a time. Twenty so at a time. We don't want time, it to yeah. be too big. We want yeah. them to each be able to have the one on one time as well. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So it's carefully planned out. So we're going to start off with you know your base, just basic skills, and then we're going to go on to ring generalship. Yeah. You know. Um, reading your opponent, getting really in depth into what, what actually happens in a fight, you know, as well as each person's individual style. How many days will the clinic be? It will just be, a, it'll be a, probably a half a day, right, half right. a day clinic, just to get the, the ball rolling. Yeah. And depending on the response, and maybe we can, it can be an ongoing, yeah. an ongoing thing. And will those guys doing the clinic, will they have an opportunity to actually put the gloves on and box? Yes, they will, they'll all have an opportunity to to spar, spar with Cassius spar, spar. and amongst themselves yeah, right. and then Cassius can also then go and walk around and yeah. you know attend to everybody basically. So Cassius you're going to be sparring with 20, 20 people? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sparring with 20. But for you that's easy? It's very easy. Very easy for you. Because even in the gym, my gym in Joburg, yeah. there are like maybe 10 guys in the class. I spar no every, everyone. So listen, let me ask you a little bit before we before we end off today. Um, boxing in South Africa is, of course, an interesting sport. You've got professional boxing, you've got amateur boxing. Um, what advice have you got for the guys out there that are amateur boxers? It's still one of those sports that is supposed to be the sport that anybody can do. If there's a local club, you join the club and you can you can become a boxer. But it's a difficult sport, and boxing is always struggling. What, what advice have you got for the young guys out there? For the young guys. Because like me now, I, I, uh, I'm not like in a professional uh, side now. Yeah. I would like to grow my young boxers. Yes. And this guy, these young boxers, when they come to the gym, they want to box. But their goal is to be a professional boxer, a world champion like me. They, they forget where I came from. Me, I won the world mm. amateur championships. Right. You, the young people when they come to the gym, their goal must be to win yes, yes, yes. Olympic medals, gold there in the Olympics. But it's, yeah. not, it's not an easy road. You've got to put in hard work. Yeah, we've got to put in hard work. You win that, those championships, it's going to be easy for them to go to professionals. Yeah. So yeah. you first want to do well as an amateur yeah. and then maybe turn professional. Turn professional, yeah. yeah. Yeah, For the kids out there, um, I mean, you've, you, have we got enough boxing heroes in South Africa, role models that the kids can look up to to become a boxer and, and want to be like, I mean, you maybe wanted to be like uh, Joe Fraser or George Foreman or Muhammad Ali or, you know, some of the, maybe even uh, uh, some of the, 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 the lighter weight guys. Um, have we got enough role models out there, boxing role models? Like at the moment, I've been like watch like amateur boxers, 
but I think that the up because like my dad is in the pump. My dad is the one who like brought me to this spot. Yeah. He still got the team in, in the pump. A lot of his boxers are going to like SA titles, yes, SA no, no. A championships. But yeah, I think we've got like boxers to be like me one day. All right. Cashers, we're going to leave it at that. Thanks for joining us on the show. Um, we wish you guys best of luck at the clinic. Don't beat everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> Lillian, thanks very much. Uh, good luck tonight. And um, we look forward to having Cassius back in Cape Town and do some great clinics. And maybe we'll see some champions come through the ranks. Thank you very much. It was awesome right. to be here. <laughs> thanks, Cassius. Thank you. Right, folks, that's of course uh, Sports Federation TV here. Yeah, we're uh, awesome. talking boxing. Cassius Beloy, of course, former six time world champion, uh, came through the ranks and has certainly made South Africa proud in the world of boxing. And that's, that's what we're looking for. So, the youngsters out there, if you want to, if you want to, um, uh, uh, choose a role model then uh, somebody like Cassius here is of course uh, you can't find any better coming up a little bit later in the show we'll be speaking with the guys from Life Saving Nathan Brits will be joining us Stephen Sparks and of course we've got the president of Life Saving South Africa on the show with us tonight Dylan Tommy haven't had him on the show for a while but we're looking forward to hearing from him and then in the end of the show um, so you mustn't go anywhere we've got the guys from Kyokushin Karate joining us they recently went to go fight in Shesheho in Polakwane in the um, South African Championships and it's going to be fantastic talking to them the uh, Kyokushin style is one that is slightly different those rules are full contact rules and you want to see the size of these fighters oh, they're terrible. definitely on a different level now for those of you who have just joined us you'll of course know that Bashus is on board with Cape uh, at least with Sports Federation TV can you remember the old Bashus cool drinks those trucks that used to come past your house this is certainly, South, I'm guessing it's South Africa's oldest cool drink. Started back in 1899. And I think many of us, um, well, we might not have been born in 1899, but many of us will remember Bashus as the guys that used to come past the house and drop off the cool drinks and pick up your old glass bottles. And then you would buy, get your own. There wasn't a wooden crate. It was fantastic. And Bashus today has come onto the market with some really fantastic cool drinks. And of course, they've come on board with Sports Federation TV to support the, the show and of course uh, uh, support sport wherever they, they can. But now you can win yourself a case of Bashus a little bit later in the show. So don't go anywhere. You're going to need your cell phones when we ask you who the cool drink supplier is to Sports Federation TV. We'll be back after the break and we'll be talking life saving. <laughs>